I hope I'm not disappointing anybody, but I decided that these walks in the park need to be just for me because if I'm filming them all of the time, once again, I'm being performative and this is too precious of a time for me. So uh, I'm here, you see that I'm here, but I'll talk to you later on when I'm no longer here so that I can enjoy everything that's here. At the end of the day, this is the state of me. I am laying down, relaxing upstairs in my room where it's perfectly quiet, except for the presence of a kitty cat that just walked in. I wanted to take a moment to thank you. I want to thank you because I realize that it's been a long time since I've said thank you to you. I have 871 subscribers. So I'm 129 away from that first elusive 1,000 subscriber mark. Woo! I'm getting really close and it's really exciting. And to those of you who are just viewers and not creators, you don't care about the numbers. But to those of us who are creators, like those numbers are goal posts. They're goals that we strive for and that kind of are what keep us going, you know, when you work hard and you reach a goal. Out in the real world, we, world, we work hard and we get paid for our work. Here on YouTube, that takes some time. Now, my main goal right now, obviously, isn't to create content for you to get paid because I'm not. So uh, eventually, all these stories that I'm sharing with you and the life lessons and that I have and my wisdom eventually I'll be earning money for that and that will just be like an amazing amazing fabulous gift um, but I'm not quite there yet but I want to thank you for being here with me this whole time all 871 of you who are subscribed like in YouTube terms that's a teeny tiny number but there was another youtuber that I watch I can't remember his name right now but I'll link his his channel in my um, description when I remember his name and then there was a video where he said for those of you who have a hundred subscribers and you're like worried about how small that is imagine having a hundred people in your house right so that's a lot of people <laughs> so I thought yeah really imagine having 871 people in my house I can't because they wouldn't fit in here <laughs> Um, that's a lot of people and I am really grateful that you've been with me and that you come back to watch now I I only know those of you who comment and say hi and share with me your thoughts like I've really gotten to know you and I'm super amazingly grateful for you guys but for the rest of you who are subscribers who watch here and there or subscribe out of kindness or subscribe because you related to me in one way or another if you don't leave comments, that's fine. I'm so grateful for you too. Like if I didn't leave space in my heart for you all, all of this would be meaningless. Like who, what am I doing this for? If I'm just doing it for the eventuality, if that's a word, of earning money, there is no heart in that. Like I, I really come here to share these stories with you because that's, I'm sharing the truth of who I am. Now, when I started, I was doing things that were much more contrived and scripted and all of that. And I don't know, that might serve a purpose here or there in my YouTube career. But right now, I'm just not feeling that and I'm more comfortable talking. And what's so amazing about that is that you're responding. You're responding. In my comments, you guys tell me the most beautiful things. And not about me. It's not that you're complimenting me, but you're telling me that you feel something from the video that I made, that the, the thought that was on my mind caused you to think about something about your life or caused you to reevaluate something. And what that tells me is that I'm inspirational in some way. Now, I don't see that I'm not saying that in a way like, ooh, I'm special, I'm so inspirational to people. I'm saying that with gratitude, like 
that makes me feel so good because I'm just me. I am just one person in this huge planet of billions of people sharing something that's on my mind and I'm connecting with you. Some of you I've connected with on a school community and um, you've shared beautiful things with me. Some of you are new subscribers and you've told me that the fact that I'm open and honest about my journey into the neurodivergent world <laughs> of my brain <laughs> um, is helping you think about yourselves in a different light. It's helping you accept those differences in yourself and um, I'm, I'm grateful. I, I know I've said, I've said that word like probably a hundred times already, but I'm really happy and feel fulfilled that I've reached you because in no other world, in no other time in history, in the past, would I have been able to do this? Would I have been able to make connections with people who live in Sweden, who live in North Carolina, who live in Cuba, who live in, I'm trying to think of all the places I've heard, Australia. Like in no other time would I have connected with you. And this is happening because I picked up my phone and I started to talk at it. <laughs> it's such a silly thing. And then there's the next level of gratitude I need to share. This is something that I don't talk about very often, but in the description of all of my videos, I have a buy me a coffee link. And I put that there on the suggestion of some other YouTubers and some other creators that I know. And they said, just, you know, put it in there and you can literally ask people, you know, and hint to them to buy you a coffee to support your work, or you can just quietly leave it there in your description. And I tried a few different strategies with that to see what felt good and felt right for me. It does feel weird to say, hey, click the buy me a coffee link in my description and if you, you know, like the content that I'm making, you can support me. It, it does feel weird because you're supporting me just sitting here talking to you, laying in my bed right now. But, there's a but. Four people, four? people um, since I put that link in there have bought me a coffee and I'm so grateful to the four of you I'm grateful to Kim I'm grateful for oh god I just forgot his name I'm so sorry <laughs> um, I'm grateful for Kim I'm grateful for oh my god I'm gonna have to edit this out I'm grateful for Bruce, I remembered his name. I'm grateful for Chris, and I'm grateful for, I think it's Kathleen, and I'll list all of their channels because they all happen to be creators themselves. Thank you so much for your generosity. Now, when I started to think about that a little more, about this buy me a coffee link and how weird it feels to like hint to, to buy me something, I needed to come to terms with something, and that's what I wanted to take a moment to tell you. Um, it's hard to ask for what you need, even as an adult. You know, when we're kids, we can do that so easily. Mom, can I have uh, an ice cream? Um, Mom, can you tie my shoe? Dad, will you take me to the park? Dad. We're asking all the time. As a teacher, kids ask me all the time for what they need. But as we get older, we kind of stop. <laughs> we forget that it's okay to ask sometimes for what you need. And, um, excuse me one second, I have to decline a spam call coming in. Okay. Um, so I, I am, I'm not in need of money. So I wouldn't ask because of that. That doesn't feel right for me. But what feels right for me is to say that, um, that that buy me a coffee link 
what that is to me. And I think it was um, Chris who who told me this in a message to me. She said, if we were closer, I would want to sit and sit down and have a cup of tea with you, or I would want to sit down and meet you and talk over a cup of coffee. And that's what I feel like my channel is all about. It's just like having a friend to hang out with for a bit. Um, there is another new subscriber. Her name is Sophia. And I met her on a school community, on Alexa Saranoia's school community. And I think it was you. I've been reading a lot of comments and emails lately. But she said, it's like having, it's like you're everyone's bestie. And that's making me tear up right now because that was a beautiful thing to say. I, I have a few best friends, but now to feel like I'm besties, a bestie to others, it's so super sweet. And it fills me with so much joy. So back to the buy me a coffee thing. Um, it's a nice gesture to say thank you because e even though, um, how do I say this? Even though this is something that I'm enjoying doing, um, it, it does take time. And even though it's fun, it is work for a creator. So I do spend the time here talking with you and it does take time to upload the videos and then it does take time to edit them a little bit. I edit less these days and it does take time to make a thumbnail and it does take time to upload and it does take time to create a description. All of these parts of this, it's, it is work. And so like right now, YouTube isn't paying me for this work because I haven't earned it yet. I mean, I think I've earned it, but <laughs> YouTube doesn't think so yet. Um, and then even when YouTube does allow you to be monetized, like if you divide the money that you're earning by the time, if you like figure out the rate, uh, unless you're, you know, a channel with a million subscribers and all of that, the, the rate of earnings are still low. So, um, yeah, my, my goal is for the channel to be monetized because in four years I would like to be retired and um, my YouTube channel is my um, is going to be like my direct line to some other kind of business at some point and that will be half of the income that I'd be using to support myself if I figure out my numbers correctly. So, yeah, sure, I'd appreciate if you use the buy me a coffee link. I'd appreciate if you buy me a coffee. And I'd appreciate if you share my channel with other people who might need somebody to be their bestie, somebody to sit down and have a chat with. I love sharing with you, and I love being open and honest. This is who I am, and it's who I've always been. And in my life, people have told me, you're too open and you know you're too nice or you're too sensitive or you're too kind or you're too just fill in the blank but you guys none of you think that I'm too much of anything you all think that I'm just right and I am filled to the brim with love and appreciation so Today's video is just a quick, a quickie to tell you all thank you. And if you want to thank me, you now know how to do that. And um, I think this is video 10 of my 30 day video challenge, even though I'm not doing a video a day. Sometimes I skip a day here or there, but I don't need to be perfect. I just need to be. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for allowing me to be me, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.